Hey guys, Burns Vaughn here. In this video I'm just going to explain to you whether disabling sysmain or enabling sysmain improves or does not improve the performance on your computer. So I tested this myself on my laptop which is running Windows 11. It doesn't have the, it's not like super high end, I would say it's maybe like mid range. It has like an 11th generation i3. But regardless of that, anything I mention in this video uh, applies to all computers, right? So, so the bottom line is that uh, disabling or enabling sysmain will not uh, affect the performance on your computer. So the only exceptions would be as if you have a computer with a very low amount of RAM. So if you have 4 GB or 8 GB, 8GB is pretty standard, but it's starting to become quite, uh, starting to become a bit, little bit low, and now 16GB is becoming the standard. So, uh, and pretty much all gaming PCs and high-end PCs will have 16GB data. Uh, sorry, 16GB of RAM. So yeah, it's only really if you have 4GB or 8GB you should be concerned. So if it's not that, don't worry. But I tested this myself, so my computer has 8GB, um, so this is an article on my website, um, so I just took a screenshot before I enabled sysmain and after I enabled sysmain, so as you can see, like um, this article shows you how to um, enable and disable it, I'll show that after, but so for a baseline, this is the baseline, so don't worry about the CPU, I shouldn't have included this graph, the main thing we're looking at is the RAM, so the RAM uh, currently has 5.5 gigs of usage before I disabled sysmain and then I disabled sysmain and as you can see it has 4.5 uh, gigs of RAM in use right so yeah and it's pretty flat line as you can see so yeah to disable I would do it now but it's just a bit of a major but I'll just show you quickly how to do it so you go into um, run command, windows key R, and you just type in this one, services, msc, it's quite common but I never use this stuff, so you just hit enter, and then it gives you some hidden settings, scroll down to sysmain and then you can just turn it on and off, so mine's disabled, if you go here, sysmain, see, and then startup type, so you just enable it or disable it, mine's on disabled, and then you restart it and that's either enabled, just what you've set it to. So yeah, I would say only if you've got 4GB or 8GB, just test it and see if you get better or worse performance. When I turned it on or off, I didn't notice a difference in performance, but with that said, it did free up a gig of RAM. So if I had lots of programs open, it would likely cause an increase in performance, but I typically don't do that anyway, just to make it, um, just to use my computer the most efficiently. <coughs> cool, well that about covers it and um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any other questions or comments just comment below.